Hi everyone, my name is Haley Brown and I'm here to talk to you about the leadership quality, passion. Everyone has their own idea of what passion means to them and I'm sure mine will be different than the next person's. So what does it really mean to be passionate about something? Anyone can dabble, but once you've made that commitment, your blood has that particular thing in it and it's very hard for people to stop you. That's a quote directly from the book from John C. Maxwell and the 21 Indispensable Qualities of a Leader. Not everyone has passion, and I'm sure you've seen that with people you work with, people you associate with every day. So anyone can do it, but you have to make that final commitment and let that be your driver behind everything that you do and you fight for. What makes it possible for people who seem ordinary to achieve great things? The answer is passion. Nothing can take the place of passion in a leader's life. There are four truths when it comes to passion. The first one being, passion is the first step to achievement. This makes sense because how can you ever have any hope to a great achievement without passion? You've got to want to fight for it. You've got to want to want it more than anything you've ever wanted. And then that is passion. And that's what's going to drive you to do and achieve whatever you want to do. The second truth is passion increases your willpower. There is no substitute for passion. It is fuel for the will. If you want something bad enough, you have to have the willpower to do it. And that's true for everything in life. If you want to achieve something great and you want to be great at what you do, you have to have the willpower to go and get it. And what fuels that? Passion. The third truth is passion changes you. And I think this kind of speaks for itself in its own way. Your goals in life and your wants in life and everything you want to achieve is going to be different than everybody else's. So therefore, your passion is going to be different. You're going to be passionate about something different than your brother, your sister, your mom, your dad, your friends. So passion changes who you are and makes you go after what you want to fight for. Fourth and final truth about passion is passion makes the impossible possible. Human beings are so made that whenever anything fires the soul, impossibilities vanish. Anything is possible when you have passion and you have the drive to go and make things happen. Remember, you can't start a fire in your organization unless one is first burning in you. The last thing we're going to cover is how you can determine if you have passion in your life. So first, take your temperature. What does this mean? Ask others around you. Do they notice if you have passion in anything? Your co-workers, your spouse, your friends, people you're around often. Go ahead and ask them and see what they think you're passionate about and see if it matches up with what you think you're passionate about. Next, return to your first love. There's been something in our life that we absolutely, positively love to do more than anything we've ever loved to do. And it may be what you're doing right now in your career and your life, but for others, probably not. Go back to that time, see what drove you, and reevaluate everything you do now in the light of those first loves. Lastly, associate with people of passion. If you're around negative people all day that have no drive to do anything and just basically do the basics just to get by, you're not going to be passionate either. You could. There's always that rare person that is absolutely extravagant and passionate about everything they do. But most likely, that negativity is going to, let's see, pour into your cup a little bit. So surround yourself with people who have a passion about something, maybe the same passion that you have. And I think that will ultimately push you into being more passionate about a lot of things in your life, not just that one. I admit that I have lost passion in a lot of things in life. Everything just kind of gets overwhelming with all of my school assignments piling up, all of my work duties piling up, and I don't have time for friends or family, and that can really negatively impact my mood. So I don't have the passion because, let's be honest, I don't completely love my job and I don't completely love going to school. But I really want to get back to my first loves because I do love accounting and I actually do 
love what I do, just not necessarily the bad things that come along with it. But you're going to have bad things everywhere. I want to go back to a first love and reevaluate my life in that and try and get back to where I was with passion. I am trying my best to be passionate about school so I can finish. Um, I'm supposed to graduate in December, so I'm pushing through. Um, just trying to have the passion that drives me to get this done. I guess you can say I have passion to even go back to school after being off for four years. I had that drive and that willpower to go get my master's, my dual degree, and be a better me in the end. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation today and my perspective on what passion means and kind of how you need to get back to having that drive. Thank you.